Hey everybody, welcome back to Mad Horse Barbecue. My name is Brian, and in uh, today's video, we're going to be doing the initial seasoning of my brand new 55 gallon gateway drum smoker. This is the straight up edition uh, in the matte gray. Um, pretty much when you get these, you do kind of get like a little owner's manual, and uh, you know, you get a serial number, you can register your drum, and they have light up instructions and seasoning instructions. Seasoning, more or less, meaning uh, you're kind of doing like an initial burn in on the drum. Uh, I do a burn-in pretty much on every single grill I have. You know, a lot of pellet grills, when you buy them, you know, it'll say run at 350 for two hours or 350 for an hour, just to kind of burn off, you know, maybe cure the paint or burn off any kind of imperfections. And uh, that's pretty much the uh, idea behind me doing it here today. Um, I think the only ones that say you don't have to really do it uh, would be like a Weber kettle, which is like a porcelain enamel uh, coating on the inside. But I still burn in Weber kettles uh, because who doesn't like firing up a grill whether you're cooking meat or not firing up a grill is therapeutic in my opinion but uh this would be super simple to do all we're gonna do is need a couple of ingredients we're gonna need some charcoal and then obviously we're gonna need our drum uh, we're gonna need a little paraffin cube here these are just like the little weber ones and uh we're also gonna be using some uh good old canola oil or canada oil i believe if you search canola oil up it actually means canada oil but um yeah uh, I, I got nothing else i'm just super excited to finally get this thing um, lit up and uh, you know kind of play around with the temp control I think that's another thing we're gonna do too in this video is kind of just go and see how easy this thing is to control because from all the videos I watched and from my little bit of experience uh, with my UDS uh, temperature control on these style cookers are very like they're very simple so you know that's something that you know attracts me to it as well but uh, let's bring in and uh, we'll go over step by step on how I'm gonna season this thing up uh, first things first get the lid off you can see I don't have really anything in there. I do have the heat diffuser in there, but that's just because uh, I'm going to spray it with some canola oil too. So now that I got it opened up, I'm just going to take uh, canola oil. This is what I'm talking about. It's from Fairway. Uh, you could probably use pretty much any dang thing you wanted, but I'm just going to go ahead and spray the inside of the drum. That's going to be about good. Uh, I am going to spray the inside of the lid uh, right before I put it on, but we'll do that a little later. Now that we got that done, let's go ahead and fill the basket up with some charcoal. And the charcoal we're using today is the B&B uh, &B, uh, Oak Lump. Um, I have an idea, and I don't know why I have this idea, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to run all lump uh, in this drum. But we'll see. Uh, the directions say fill three quarters of a, or two thirds of a basket up. So be about two thirds. Next step, going to be placing the basket down in the drum. Just like so. Kind of get it even because I'm a little OCD, even ish. That should be you know, close enough. We're going to take our wax cube here, put it right in the center, kind of sort of bury it, and then uh, light her up. I am excited, very excited for this. And open both the intakes all the way. Oh, I gotta loosen that a little bit. And I'm gonna let this thing burn for about 15 minutes and uh, I will pitch back up. So we'll see in about 15 minutes. All right, we're back. Uh, this thing has been burning for about 15 to 20 minutes ish. Um, so now it is time to go ahead and throw the grill grate in. Like I said, I'm also gonna take a coat and put it on the lid. So, the last thing to do is throw the lid on and open that chimney up all the way and uh, let this thing come up to temp. Um, obviously, I'm going to try my hardest. I'm so used to using third party temp uh, like my Maverick X4 or my, uh, or sorry, my Thermalworks X4 and like my Maverick um, XR50. Um, but I'm going to try like heck to just kind of do this with vent control and kind of just trust that this thing runs how it's supposed to run. Um, but obviously the first couple times it's going to be some tinkering with it, but it shouldn't be really that hard. So yeah, I'm going to check back in here from time to time. Throughout this cook, you can kind of see that uh, we're already building time. Oh man, I'm so excited. Opening or lighting up a new pit or a new grill to me is uh, kind of like the equivalent of waiting for Santa Claus to come as a kid. Um, just, just real excited, but I'm gonna let this thing burn for an hour or two and, uh, we'll check back in. Ah, uh, we are back. Uh, we've been going for about exactly one hour. Um, right now I am super impressed. I don't know if you can see that needle, but, uh, that needle is pretty much straight up. 
um, maybe just just a little bit north of 300. But um, basically, what I did was I shut the lid. Obviously, I got the exhaust wide open. I, had, I just opened up the intakes wide open. And once the needle got to about 325, 330-ish, uh, I closed the intakes down to about that much. Kind of open just like a little sliver. It's probably open about a quarter, probably a little less than a quarter of the way. And uh, this thing has been rocking right at about 310 uh, ever since then. Haven't had to adjust anything. But, you know, when you, and I get that it's going to get different, uh, you know, when I do throw protein on the smoker. But uh, just right now, just this thing, it's a little windy today. Uh, this thing is holding temp just awesome very 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 happy with it but um yeah i don't, I don't got nothing else i'm to some people this might be boring uh, to me this I, i'm not even sitting down I'm, i've literally been standing out here watching that needle uh not do anything and i'm i'm absolutely loving life right now but uh, uh i'll probably check back in maybe one more time uh before i end this video up but i'm gonna guess that that basket of charcoal at 300 is probably gonna burn for three to four hours ish um and you know, there's not much else going on. Like I said, I'm not cooking today. This is just a seasoning video, uh, and hopefully, it, you know, it helps somebody out. But, you know, we'll check back in here in about maybe another hour or so. All right, we are back. We've been on for pretty much exactly two hours. Well, this thing's been running right in between 300 and 320 the whole time. Uh, pretty close to, I'd say, three. This say 315-ish uh, is right where the sweet spot is, which I'm assuming once I put meat on, um, it'll, you know, it'll drop a little bit. It'll probably be right around 300 uh, when that meat is on, but right off the bat, I just gotta say I am very impressed. Uh, it's it, it's windy today. I don't know if you can hear. It. Hopefully you can't, but I'm gonna guess you can hear it because uh, it never fails. Any day that I want to shoot a video, you know, it's always windy. But you know, you kind of get good practice in cooking in the elements, so that is a positive note on it. But um, running super good. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take you in. Uh, I'm gonna show you how much charcoal we used in two hours. And, uh, you know, we'll probably put an end to this video, so let's go ahead and uh, take you in. Let's go ahead and pop the lid off. And if you can see down in that basket, there is quite a bit of charcoal left. Um, might be kind of hard to there, that should be a little better. There's quite a bit of charcoal left, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, button this thing back up. And I got nothing else going on for the rest of the day, uh, so I'm just going to let this thing continue to burn. So, uh, yeah, you know, besides that, I got nothing else. Um, I, I could continue this video, but I'm not going to because it's, it's literally just going to be me leaving the vent set where it's at. And I'm just going to let this thing burn out uh, until the charcoal is gone. So, um, it, you know, initial impressions on this Gateway drum smoker, you know, the 55-gallon straight-up model. Um, Super impressed. Uh, I have a UDS, um, but and I, and I love that UDS that I built. I really do. Um, but you know, there is a little bit more um, messing around with the intake vents to kind of get it set where you want to get it set at. And you might think, well, it's like, well, it's a 55 gallon drum, and this is a 55 gallon drum. Um, but if you have a homemade UDS and you don't believe me, buy a Gateway, and I promise you, you'll figure it out. But uh, you know, <laughs> besides that. Um, can't wait to start cooking on this thing and uh, I got nothing else if you guys and girls enjoyed this video really appreciate it give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell because uh, I'm a guy who likes to BBQ some meat and drink some bush light and uh, buy new grills I guess so you know, that's about all I got so you guys and girls have a good night and uh, see you next time